Apple's iPhone 14 Pro is set to be the phone that, phone that could shake up the iPhone range by potentially bringing in a notably different design from the iPhone 13 Pro. So far, the rumors have hinted at everything from the death of the notch to the return of Touch ID. This is probably well overdue as good as the iPhone 13 Pro is, it's arguably not a definitive upgrade over its predecessor and overall the iPhone hasn't taken a huge leap forward since the iPhone 11 Pro. Going by all the rumors so far, we reckon September 13 will be the launch date for the Apple iPhone 14 range. After that, we can expect pre-orders of the iPhone 14 range to go leave the Friday after the Apple event September 16, with the phones being released a week later, likely on Friday September 23. This would be 10 days after the rumored Apple event. Somewhat reliable leaker leaks Apple Pro has claimed three of the four iPhone 14 models are tipped for a price hike but it's definitely just a rumor however it's a rumor a lot of people are buying into as a subsequent report also claim and as iphone 14 pro price hike is in the works based on these rumors the iphone 14 pro would start at uh, 1099 bucks which is a hundred buck hike over the triple nine dollar iphone 13 pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max may see a similarly $100 increase hitting at double one double nine dollar. This relatively significant leap in a launch price would certainly sting the wallet of anyone hoping to score a high-end next-gen iPhone 14. Furthermore, when a new iPhone arrives, it often means the end of the line for older iPhones with the iPhone 13 mini looking to be the likely phone to get cut from Apple's smartphone lineup. As such, we have dug into which iPhones could be discontinued when the iPhone 14 launches. There were some early rumors that Touch ID could make a return in the form of an under-display fingerprint scanner, however, the jury is still out on how likely this is. Analysis Ming Chi Kuo recounts that there won't be a there won't be an iPhone with Touch ID or under display face ID for another few years. This would have been pretty disappointing as during these mass acquiring times having an alternative to face ID is very handy. But with iOS 15.4, Apple has made it so that face ID can recognize a legitimate user even when they are, they are wearing a mask. It works remarkably well, meaning Apple may have bypassed the need for fingerprint-centric biometrics. We have only had one leak address the cover options for the iPhone 14 Pro. A Chinese leaker claimed that alongside the familiar graphite silver and gold, gold Pro iPhone colors, the new option for this year would be a dark purple. You can see that below in another set of renders, this one coming from artist Sota. In May, Mac rumors summarized the status of iPhone 14 color rumors thus far with the addition of the purple purple option the most radical change otherwise the report has the black white blue and red options that make up the current iphone 13 and 13 sections the pink and green colors would be dropped this time around as for the iphone 14 pro and iphone 14 pro max the new purple hue would join silver gold and graphite as the reported color options. Both the Sierra Blue cum color available since the iPhone 13 Pro's launch and the Alfin Green version introduced in the spring would be a drop from the lineup. iPhone 14 Pro USB-C There are rumors that suggest Apple would finally go the USB-C port route with the iPhone 14 Pro and that would make sense as many of 
its devices already have USB-C connectivity. However, more recent rumors claim their Apple will stick with Lightning over USB-C but switch to updated Lightning ports with faster USB 3.0 data transfer. That comes as the EU moves closer to making USB-C the standard charger for portable devices like the phones. For some people, USB-C on the iPhone 14 Pro would be a must-have feature. In fact, the lightning connector is arguably the worst thing about the iPhone as it can wire over the time. This can make it very difficult to ch charge your phone. Unfortunately, Apple is unlikely to abandon Lightning unless it has to, given how established the standard and its ecosystem of accessories already is. Meanwhile, Ming-Chi Kuo predicts that Apple will switch the iPhone to USB-C but not until late 2023. If he is correct, and a new report in Bloomerang suggests that he is, it means we won't be seeing an official USB-C iPhone until the iPhone 15 arrives. iPhone 14 Pro Specs and Battery Life Following on from the A15 Bionic, we'd expect to see an A16 Bionic chip in the iPhone 14 Pro series with improved performance across the board according to alleged benchmarks. However, a suit of rumors thus far have the iPhone 14 tip to stick with the A15 Bionic chip which would create a disparity between the model's core specs. This would be a first for Apple as it has always equipped new iPhones with upgraded silicon. Ming-Chi Kuo has thrown his weight behind this cheap rumor adding that Apple plans to ship more iPhone 14 Pro models than standard iPhone 14s. The latest A16 processor will be exclusive to two iPhone 14 Pro or high-end models significantly boosting the shipment proportion of new iPhone high-end models in 2022 to 55 to 60%. The iPhone 14 is likely to offer a distinct hike in processor, graphics and neural processing performance over the A15 Bionic. How much that will be noticeable to the average user might not be so closer. Storage is likely to go up to 1 TB, but there have been no solid storage rumors for the iPhone 14 Pro yet. A source from Weibo claiming to know the battery capacity of the iPhone 14 family shows that all models except the iPhone 14 Pro Max will be getting a slight increase in size. The iPhone 14 Max is in fact shrinking a little, but hopefully not enough to impact the phone's overall battery life. We'd be confident that the iPhone 14 Pro will match or exceed the 11 hours and 42 minutes the iPhone 13 Pro did in our battery test, which forces the phone to endlessly reload web pages on a cellular connection until it dies. The phone the iPhone 13 Pro Max managed a lengthy 12 hours and 16 minutes, so we'd expect the iPhone 14 Pro Max do the same as better as Apple Boost, cheap and phone efficiently. As for 5G, we are expecting the iPhone 14 Pro to use a new smaller 5G modem chip. The smaller size should mean it take, takes less more to run and that there could be extra room for the battery to expand into. That would mean the already impressive battery life of the iPhone 13 can be improved upon even more. Sadly, it's looking like the iPhone 14 Pro might miss out the advancements made by Qualcomm's new 5G chip, the Snapdragon X70, the chip will include a 5G AI processor, the first of its kind, which should allow the modern system to use artificial intelligence to optimize a phone's antenna and better manage 5G beams going to and for, from a 5G phone. Qualcomm figures that will be particularly useful for MM web based 5G networks in places like stadiums and arenas though AI can also help manage sub, sub 6 hertz 5G signals as well. 
In addition to its cellular and Wi-Fi connectivity, the iPhone 14 could also gain the ability to connect to satellite networks. That's feature that first emerged in the build up to last year's iPhone 13 launch, while the capability didn't arrive in time for those phones. Reliable Tipster says emergency satellite communications are a possibility for the iPhone 14 models. The idea is that when you are an area without good cellular or Wi-Fi connectivity, you can send text messages to emergency services over satellite networks, alerting them to your location.